IL2. Let's add reshade to HFX7. Uh, there's the address to download, and that's what your download setup icon will look like. And we have to set up a few things first. Um, go to your uh, shortcut and right click it. Open the file location. And see where your uh, exe file is to start the game. That's your target for the reshade installation. It's a little different. Another thing is to get the console to work. You may have to open your config INI settings. And it's a mouse setting. And you see where it says mouse use two? You may have to change it to mouse use one. But we'll see. All right, after we download the setup file. We're going to double click it and we're going to use OpenGL. It's got file locations for install, uh, but we're going to browse and go to your game location for IL2. Uh, I have HFSX. Let's look for the game files. There they are. And looks for the EXC. That's going to be it. It's usually going to be a blue box with a red star. And we're going to pick all the options, all the effects. Why not get them all? And just click OK. And once you uh, in install, It'll ask you to verify the extra effects. Just click OK. All right, when you get an installation complete, start your game. And you'll know Reshade's in, in the top line of the game. You'll see. Uh, dialog box. There it is. It worked. Now you hit your home key. Once the game starts, just press your home key. And there it is. And you see my mouse won't go into the console there. So I have to go back to the config INI and change my mouse settings. There it is. I just changed it from mouse use 2 to mouse use 1. Hit file, save. Restart the game. Hit your home key. And look, the mouse goes in. And you can work the reshade configuration settings. Just hit continue. And this is the way I do it. There's our selections to the left. I hit the home key again, get out of there. Go to the quick mission builder and just open up a flight. Doesn't really matter. And hit your F2 key. There's your outside view. Pause it. Get a good view there. And hit your home key again. And there's your options for reshade and you can see the effect take place as you're clicking on the effects see how they change borders and there's uh, sharpening I really like the sharpening and brighter colors. And you can see you can, the effect take effect <laughs> or take place as you're doing this. So you just kind of 
pick the ones you like. That one looks pretty good, pretty sharp. So I like those two. Not bad. Hit your home key, and now you can play the game. Now we're going to pick a uh, hot key to remove the effects. There it is there. I'm just going to click in that box and hit my end key. Okay, there it is, end. And click out of there. And hit your home key. Get out. And you hit end, and you go back to the base game looks or effects. Base game effects. So while you're playing the game, you can activate or deactivate your effect. Anyway, guys, I, I hope you like this tutorial. I hope you use Reshade. You can use post-processing. It's up to you. But while in-game, uh, it looks pretty good. I really like it, and I hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching.